Revenge on rude waiter. I just bought a hotel room and was informed the room came with free breakfast for two. I came downstairs in the morning and as soon as I entered the breakfast area the server gives me a dirty look, and literally yelled what do you want. I told him about the camped breakfast and he said I had to leave without explaining I needed a coupon that came with the key card for the room. After I found this out from the front desk I came back and gave him the coupon. He then said he wouldn't serve me because there needed to be two people. Again I had to leave get my brother and come back. He then proceeds to take our order one breakfast for me and one breakfast to go so my brother could go back to sleep. My brother leaves. The server then proceeds to not even offer me water or check on me at all while attending to the only other people in the breakfast area sitting right in front of me. Finally someone else brings out my food. I eat. When it comes time to leave a tip I write a big fat zero on the check and proceed to walk over to the food runner that bring me my food and hand him a $20 bill. The look on this rude server's face is priceless. I love that you tip the other guy because now the rude waiter can't just convince himself that you're a non-tipping asshole. Wow some people's children. Glad you tipped the food runner. I remember my mom tipping a helpful busboy at an Ipe. Waiter had been incredibly rude. Bus by really was great, got us our drinks, etc. As we left my mom asked for a manager, didn't complain, wanted a witness the tip was for the busper and that nothing was for the waiter. I was a kid, felt like my mom was a superhero that day. Chefs kiss my friend. I've had similar experiences with horrible customer service and it's infuriating how some people can be so inconsiderate glad you got some measure of satisfaction, and I would have done the same. Nicely done rude behavior should not be tolerated. I'm sorry he is from Barcelona. This is not a tip. This is a personal gift to you. No one apologizing for the waiter and berating OP for not tipping 20 despite shit service. Damn, Reddit is finally turning a corner when it comes to tipping. Never make fun of anyone's language proficiency or accent. A person whose English is bad, is fluent in at least one more language and perhaps knows more languages than most of the Reddit grammar Nazis as well. Loser waiter probably stole the 20 from the runner. You should also report him to the restaurant manager and hotel manager. This is just bad customer service. I get bad service I leave a penny. I've done that, went out to dinner with my fiank and saw our server three times. Took our order, brought our food and brought our check after we asked someone else for the checks or another young server helping the table near us. Repeatedly kept doing a great job, I told him to keep doing a good job and handed him ten then left. Besides us there were for other customers in this restaurant. Racism is ugly in all forms and is displayed by all people. As a white person I used to stop at a local Popeyes. The black staff were racist to the point of intentionally ignoring any person other than a black customer. After multiple complaints that location was closed. Bigotry in any fashion is not cool. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect until proven otherwise. This is so heartbreaking. That kind of shit pisses me off. Adding brang to my lexicon. The waiter most likely made himself whole by withholding 20 from the runner when it came time to tip out. If the grammar police would get past the colloquium, we'd enjoy this more. In most of the US, we're laughing with you op. I think I would have gone to the waiter and say to him I'd just like to tell you I'm going to give you a big tip for your service today. Then, as he looks interested, follow up with but I cannot tell a lie and hand it to the other person. That said, I think you handled it perfectly. Hang on your breakfast is comp but you're expected to tip someone who is paid to do his job fuck that. Thank you that was so awesome. Classic. I'm impressed. Great way to treat the runner. I can understand needing the coupon. 
but if anyone ever tried something like needed to be two people, they would have heard loud and clear from me on that for sure. Yes, you did good never reward bad behavior and tip people who deserve it. Where the heck is this hotel located at? Brang? Brang? Brought. American tipping culture is crap. It's a nice action in theory, but most places will force servers to split their tips regardless of who was handed the money. In the US tipping is mandatory yet in the UK it is optional. I've never understood why it's mandatory when the service is awful. When I go into a restaurant the tip starts at 15 and then goes down based on level of service. Quite often I still give 15, but a few times it's been zero because service has been so bad. Unfortunately, if it's an establishment that pulls the tips, your gesture didn't mean much. The food runner brought you your food. There's no such word as brang, FFS. Brang is not a fucking word. Karen Post. They pull tips. Whatever. Brang? Brang? Good lord. Brang? The American education system is frightening. Leaving a zero tip means you are a cheapskate. Instead, leave a two cent tip that will be seen as an insult, no matter who receives it. That never, ah, uh, happened, did it, Homer? Brang? You miss the opportunity to put he I then proceeds in the first paragraph too. I've never seen a rude server in my life. Maybe the waiter had an arrangement with the food server, where they split the much larger tip to spite him earning him more than the tip you would have left if he was nice. I'm joking, of course. Boom like a boss. Wait, if the breakfast was comped, why would they bring you a check at all? Good move. I have to ask given some of the stories here are you a pock, and do you think it was racism? If you are an appalling server isn't, then it's actually worth reporting to front desk, on an in-case basis. Man you sure showed him. Well played it was priceless to show that jerk that you weren't just a cheapskate. 